If you're watching this on YouTube and you have a question, comment, suggestion, or maybe you just want to find out more information about the product, you can find the link below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds for 3GameMan.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Silverstone ST30SF 300 watt SFX power supply. It comes in this great looking and formative box that has lots of features and specifications about the product. Now let's open it up and see what's inside. Included is a user's manual, a spec manual, a power cord, a bag that has a power supply bracket in it, four plastic cable ties for organizing the cables, four regular black screws, four thumb screws, and they are black as well, and the power supply comes in this bubble wrap bag. Now this model is 300 watts, but how is it determined? Well, to understand that, you need to know what rails are, and rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use, and there are essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. Now in this particular case, the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 103 watts and the 12 volt is 264 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. Now the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards, and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. It's also important to know the peak amps on each rail. Well, the plus 3.3 volt rail is 21 amps, the plus 5 volt rail is 20 amps, and it has a single plus 12 volt rail and it's 22 amps. There are a number of important things when selecting a power supply. The first is wattage. You need to determine how much wattage you are going to require for the amount of hardware that you will be installing. Now, generally speaking, a medium to high-end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply for a hardcore system. Select a power supply that's around 800 watts. If, however, you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top of the line, multiple video cards set up with lots of other hardware, select a power supply that's 1000 watts or greater. Now this power supply, of course, doesn't fit into that gaming category per se, but that doesn't mean it won't work. You just need to figure out, you know, what hardware would come within that 300 watt limit. Now they do have a 450 watt gold model, and that might be a little bit better suited if you're thinking about building, you know, an SFX small form factor gaming rig. Now regardless whether it's a standard ATX power supply or like this one, an SFX power supply, it should be at or above 80% efficiency and thankfully this power supply's efficiency is between 82 to 85% at 20 to 100 percent loading. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, over voltage, under voltage, and other protections. This power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has APFC. APFC or active power factor correction assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, it corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range, and this power supply does come with a PFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, the 80 Plus, NVIDIA SLI, and AMD Crossfire. Now, many of today's high-end power supplies meet one or more of these certifications. This power supply meets the 80 plus bronze certification. Sixth, generally look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors because this ensures a more reliable product than a power supply with low grade capacitors. Now this power supply doesn't come with Japanese capacitors, which isn't surprising considering its intended use. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Also consider a power supply that has a modular design because it really cleans up the mess inside of the case and it can improve airflow inside of the case. Also, super important to get a power supply with an excellent warranty and, of course, a brand name power supply from a company you trust that is also a plus. This power supply comes with a three-year warranty. Now, most SFX power supplies look really, really bad, and the main reason for that is they are not painted. Well, this one is. It comes with this nice black paint finish. The housing is steel. They include a very quiet 80 millimeter fan, and there's lots of ventilation holes, so this power 
power supply should remain cool in almost any environment. Here's the power cord connection and the power switch. Now the fan that's in this is super quiet, but it's not going to be on a lot. And the reason for that is it will only turn on when the internal temperature reaches 55 degrees Celsius. So not only would this be fantastic for a home theater PC build, but also any kind of, you know, silent computer build. They have this Velcro tie around the leads. Of course, you could use this later to organize the cables if you wanted to. All of the leads here coming out of the power supply are sleeved. The ends are not, as you can see. Plenty of leads for the intended use, and they are long enough as well, considering this power supply, of course, would be installed in a small form factor case. The power supply isn't modular, and that's not surprising. If you're looking for a great looking SFX power supply and one that performs really well, this is definitely an option. And remember, if you need more power, you can go with their 450 watt bronze or gold model. Sure, you're going to pay more for this than some kind of a plain Jane, you know, non-brand name SFX power supply, but why would you want to pay less for a power supply that's probably not going to perform very well? It's going to look poor and probably will fail, come with a really miserable warranty. That just doesn't make sense. Spend that extra, you know, $20 on a product like this so you can ensure that the power is going to be clean, it's going to be there, it's not going to fail, plus also, well, you're doing it in style. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. How do you think this product stacks up? To vote, head on over to 3dgameman.com and while you're there, check out the pricing.